The dinghy's gone a little flat, so I'm, it's much easier to do on shore. I'm figuring it out. Does it reach if I if I pump from up here? Oh, that might be way easier. That's better. A little more. Chose the cards now? Yeah, I do. Yeah, this is snacks. <laughs> What'd you make us for dinner? Okay. We have salt and pepper rice crisps. Nice. Carrots. Nice. With veggies hummus. in. Nice. And pretzel chips with. Yes. Also with hummus and then also mustard and peanut butter. For nice. Dessert. Thank you. We are exhausted after a just beautiful beautiful weekend. It was scorching today. Um, but yeah. Good morning. We are exhausted, but it's Monday morning. And we have to go to work today. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Basically all we do before we leave the boat is make coffee. Mm-hmm. Make coffee, hop in the dinghy, brush your teeth, go. go. And then by that time, by the time we get to shore, we get a little more awake. Yeah, move it. We slept in a little bit today, which is like every day, but oh well, we always make them time. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> what a day. All we got. <laughs> um, unfortunately, we came back the other week and we forgot to. We were in a big rush to get off the boat and we forgot to empty the cooler, so we had a moldy cooler to deal with. So we're remembering this time. We also we Take have everything out, leave it ventilated. Yes, exactly. And today all we have is carrots and oat milk. <laughs> These mornings are made so much easier when it's nice out. Like, yeah, we've had a gorgeous few weeks and I am not complaining about it. Let me have the coffee. I'm going to work. Going to work.
getting all wet today. I know, it's one of those days. The splashes. Just a little bit of chalk makes it wet. Yeah. yeah, we have to shove to work with uh, the fresh scent of saltwater mist. <laughs> No, we're working. We're working from home today, but I'll explain more of that later when the dinghy engine isn't drowning me out. So it's really nice we get to work from home today but as you may know we don't have internet on the boat and our service is like bet between two and zero bars which just isn't enough for our work so we come to shore and we have a few places where we can get wi-fi and or a good service for hot spotting and that is what we're doing this morning Okay, so we always try and be early because sometimes things like this happen. We got to our normal spot, which usually has excellent Wi-Fi, but it is down right now, so. And we have no service here, obviously, because to have Wi-Fi and service do not come together on, on this island. We're in, finally. All of this before our first sip of coffee in the morning. But we're gonna get some work done. Can't see me. We're gonna get some work done. We'll see you at lunch, I guess. Today is just one of those days. It's so hot out. Like I think it's, I don't actually know, but I think it's like reaching 30 degrees Celsius, which is quite hot. Obviously we don't have really any cooling systems in the boat or the van because we don't have AC in the van. So it's really nice after a long day of work, we can come to the water and find some shade and yeah, cool off a little bit. Since we don't have service or Wi-Fi on the boat, we do have to come to land to get that. We have talked about getting something like Starlink or some sort of internet option on the boat and we think it'd be really cool. But for right now it's working for us to just go to shore and yeah, get Wi-Fi or use our data and yeah, definitely take some time and has some challenges but we're getting a good routine down and it is nice to be on land for the day so we can go on walks on our breaks and that kind of thing so yeah anyway we've come to the water and we're just staying in the shade cool off in the water and yeah enjoy this beautiful day and then we're gonna catch a ferry later
So we finished our work day. It's about 7 o'clock now, 20 after 7, and we're on the ferry, the sort of big ferry. Our offices are, are downtown, and it's probably pretty easy to tell this, but we can't sail there on a regular basis. So a couple times a week, or I should say... Once a week. Once, once a week, we have to take our vehicle, the van, on the big ferry and travel into the city so that we can have two or three days in office. We have uh, partial, like, hybrid work schedules, so we do have to go into the office from time to time. And right now, so far in the summer, that's looked like taking the ferry once a week. We camp for two or three nights in the van in the city. It's not, like, the most ideal situation. I think we both prefer to be able to just work from the boat and where we are, but, um, that's just the reality of the jobs that we have and we're I think we're always kind of working towards being more remote which I know a lot of people are these days but that's not always a reality and right now that's not a reality for us so um, yeah this is this is how we make it work this is how we make it work being able to be off the docks and be off grid on the sailboat while also sort of continuing with our commitments to our jobs because that's how we support this lifestyle and and uh, and it's nice to spend some time in the van. <laughs> it's it's kind of fun. Like it's I don't know. I kind of like moving around. Um, it's a nice change in scenery and uh, yeah. And, and then often we can pick up supplies from the city as well because where we are, it's super limited. Like even groceries are quite limited. So yeah. Yeah, I like being in the van. In some ways, it's easier than being on the boat because we just we have easy access to water and food and we can just get up in the morning and go right to work. I also really like working from the office. It's nice to work remotely but um, sometimes it's way easier to get certain things done. You know, like going to the office, have my multiple monitors and my coworkers are there. They're easy to access and talk to. So there's definitely a lot of benefits of having sort of a mixed setup and it's a real treat being able to go back and do some of our work and also spend the weekends on the boat but definitely no complaints about being in the van. Yeah, I'd say we're about 80, 20, 80% boat, 20% van, which is like a really nice mix. Good morning. We're in the van, moving again. Jillian is just about to drop me off. At work, I am actually gonna take the bus down to the office because it saves us parking and, and messing around in the traffic. It's a complicated ordeal. Today is complicated, actually. I'm gonna work at one place in the morning and another in the afternoon. <laughs> Same, actually. That's usually we stick to one place, though. So. Usually we're just at one office. But. <laughs> It's nice, we always have all of our stuff, all of our clothes. I can do outfit changes on lunch hour, <laughs> if I want to. And uh, we're coming up to the most risky part of this maneuver, which is where I have to jump out of the car. Yes. Is there anybody behind us? Just now there is. I'll, I'll pull into the bus lane. Okay. 
Okay, okay bye. Love you. love you too. See, See you later. Happening. Bye. Not a great way to start the day. We're back at the ferry terminal and we're going back to the boat on our the big boat to go to the small <laughs> boat and i don't think we got a ton of footage during the day but that's one of the things about working we have sort of our separate life where we just have to go to work and make our income and and do all that kind of stuff but in the middle we have our sort of van life where we have sort of sleep and and stealth around the city and then on the weekends we have the luxury and, and of course some for our remote working days we can go back and enjoy the sailboat so uh, we hope you've enjoyed sort of a little mix there seeing what it's like and and the parts that you don't see are um just sort of the day-to-day -day grind so to speak but we're happy to do it because it's what's enabled us to have the boat and keep up our moorage and and everything else that we need to stay afloat and uh just sort of a final a final note that's one of the reasons why it means so much that people support us on patreon and a huge thank you again to everyone who does that uh, because you literally are freeing up some of our time to be on the boat and to think about boat projects and just enjoy the coastal environment uh, and yeah the more we get to do that the less we have to be running around the city and, and catching ferries and stuff not that we don't enjoy that you know we've set our life up in such a way that we can make it work and and we do enjoy the back and forth um but yeah the note the message here is really a huge gratitude for our patrons because it hasn't you know it has a direct impact on how we live and, and one of the things it does is give us more time so thank you and our viewers too because you're what makes this channel be this channel 